Hi, in this video, I want to talk about the human design gates and how we need to be really mindful, careful of the way that we get stuck in their meanings because it's important for us to understand that we are all individuals. And as such, in the same ways we all have different nutritional needs, you know, the bio-individuality, we all have a very different human design makeup. And even though some of us might have the same gates, we will often be expressing them quite differently. And I'm not even talking about the fact that we might have them in different lines so what I mean by that is each of the human de design gates has six different lines and you'll know which line your gate is in by looking at the little number beside the gate number. It could be it could be the 51 in line one or the 50 line in line two, three, four, five or six. I'm not even talking about that difference. There are some beautiful nuances in those energies that are really cool to know. However, what I'm talking about here is that it often depends very much on what else is defined in your chart as to how you might express a particular Gates energy. So each of the 64 Gates represents a different energetic archetype. So let's let's say, <laughs> let's say, that there are 64 different human archetypical energies and each one of those energies is represented by one of those 64 human design gates which are also represented by the Chinese I Ching of course originally represented by the Chinese I Ching and there are definitely um, correlations very strong correlations between the definitions of the Chinese I Ching and the definitions of the human design gates, each one, you know, the, the 24 and the I Ching and the 24 and the human design energies. Also the gene keys, if that's something that you've ever dabbled in or you've heard about, that's definitely worth looking into as well. The gene keys definitions are very, very beautiful and correlate beautifully with the human design gates. So you may have a particular gate defined in your chart and you may hear that it means xyz and you might say hmm that's interesting I've got that energy but I don't really feel that so much or I kind of get it but it's not mm, there's something a little bit different about it for me or it's not big I know other people that feel it more than I do so it can depend on which planet that particular gate was being transited by that made it show up in the chart it can depend on whether or not it comes off an open or undefined or white energy center or it comes off a defined energy center that can have a big impact on how you are experiencing that the energy of that gate it can depend on whether you live with or uh, in relationship with somebody who has the whole channel and you only have the single gate or the hanging gate, as we often call it. If you've got a hanging gate and somebody that you're in a relationship with or somebody that you live with has the whole channel, they have what we call a compromise over your energy and so that can kind of override your energy to a certain extent and once again it's important for you to follow your strategy and authority to make sure that that compromise doesn't doesn't change the way that energy is allowed to express itself as part of your life purpose or your reason for being here always 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 follow your strategy and authority and your life will flow the way that it's supposed to because you know, all these gates and channels and profiles and energy centers are really cool to know about. It's really juicy to know about these things. But the most important thing is that you follow your strategy and authority. So I just wanted to 
to highlight that to you, the other thing that's really important for you to be mindful of is the possibility that conditioning may be having an effect on you and the way that you experience a gait. Probably, and, and, and honestly, it doesn't happen that often in the readings that I do, but when I do a reading, occasionally somebody will say to me, no, I don't really feel that energy. And when we do some digging, what we will often find is that they have been conditioned away from that particular energy at some stage in their life. Very often in those formative years, you know, when you're first learning, you're conditioned by parent, guardian, mentor, teacher, and then even sometimes later on in life, partners, employers, people who have influence in your life can condition you away from particular energies. It's much more common to be conditioned in your openness in your open energy centers, in your open gates and channels. However, it is absolutely possible to be conditioned in your, de in your definition, in your defined energy centers and in your defined gates and channels. And that can make you feel like you are something that you are not or that you are not, in this case, something that you are. So I hope that... Is interesting to you. I hope that gives you something to think about. I don't want to suggest for one second that it isn't worthwhile learning those or getting to know the gates in particular that you have in your human design definition and the channels as well. It really is. And it's so interesting. And for most of the time, it will be a, oh, yes, yes, that's so me. Or Hmm, I suspected that was about me because people keep telling me that's about me. That can often happen in those red gates and channels because they're the ones that tend to be in your unconscious. But it's it's really important to understand that you know if you aren't feeling it as much, it could be because of something else that's going on for you. And also important to note that it could be because you have a combination of gates and channels that together kind of create a different energy. I mean, that is absolutely happening for every one of us, but it can have a strong influence on a particular gate as well. So we're all individuals. We're all experiencing this ride completely differently. And you know, that's part of the joy and the fascination and the excitement of it all. If you like this video, if it's been in any way helpful, if it's illuminated something for you that perhaps you haven't thought of before, I'd so appreciate it if you'd give it a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Ask a question. That would be great too. Giving me something to respond to is how I, how I operate in this world as a manifesting generator. I will see you next time. Bye.